Yo, what is good? What is what is good? What is even good? It is the O Show. Hope y'all are having a lovely Sunday evening. Mine's pretty good. Um, man, this week is fucking off the chain, dude. Game of Thrones, new episodios of that shit, Grand Theft Auto 5 comes out tomorrow, in fact if you check the uh, Osho schedule you'll see that I'll be playing that shit tomorrow, we're gonna be playing online despite what you fucking naysayers say. It's gonna be a perfect launch, we're gonna be playing online by 4.20 p.m. Pacific time, and it's going to be running perfectly, and I'm going to be right. All you naysayers are going to be wrong. Trust me. Trust me on this one. I also got the schedules to line up for Dungeon World on Friday. So I'm hype about that shit. CC, yo, thank you for the follow. I haven't even done anything yet. Uh, appreciate that. You have helped us toward unlocking Chivo number two. So big ups. Thank you. What up, Sabatum? What up, Dan? Sustain. Zeus. Of course, Fragger up in the piece. What up, everybody? You'll have to see Fragger around in a minute. But anyway, uh, tonight, as per the schedule, we'll be getting immersed in some Dark Souls. It's my first, like, playthrough, so go gentle on me. But uh, I'm not, like, totally Souls dumb. Um, I played Demon Souls a lot, and I played a lot of Kingsfield on PlayStation back in the day. So I'm not totally dumb. What up, Luke? Zool, I'm just passively watching. Dude, enjoy the lurking. Alright, y'all. I'll, I'll shut up, but the schedule coming up is badass. Grand Theft Auto 5 PC tomorrow. Very hype. I'm going to play online tomorrow and start the story on Tuesday. Um, yeah, hope you guys are having a chill Sunday. Really looking forward to some more Dark Souls. Finally got over my cold... Uh, finally recuperated from my birthday partying, so I'm good to go. I, 
I have been threatening to play Drake songs whenever I'm walking around with the Drake sword. And I have like all of Drake's albums, so don't push me on that one. I will play Drake music the whole time. <clears throat> CC says, I can tell from your PvP you're not a scrub. I think you're actually the first person who's ever told me I was good at a video game. <laughs> so big ups. Thank you. Luke says, uh, have you played Dark Souls before? I streamed a little bit of it a long time ago. I, I think I played up to like maybe the Gargoyles, but I've played past that now. Zeus says Moto GP was pretty good. I'm sure nobody cares. Are you talking about the awesome racing game Moto GP? Are you talking about real life Moto GP? <clears throat> Alright, so this is uh Childrick. This is my little homie. I'm building this character toward like a great scythe, Dex Faith type of build. Seems like it'd be pretty fun. Uh, I kind of look like I'm running around in my pajamas a little bit. And uh, in PvP, I really like using the s stock so far. Alright, let me pick up these zero souls right here. Nice, there we go. <coughs> Yeah, what up, Salty? Uh, so right now I've got the Grass Crest Shield for that sweet stamina region. Actually, we'll just take a look at my gear for people who haven't uh, seen the build yet. So I very cheaply shot the Drake's tail off. Um, so we got the Drake sword here. Got the good old Grass Crest Shield. Gargoyle helm, leather armor, leather gloves, and brigand trousers. Uh, I've got right now the blue tear stone ring and Havel's ring. I could go back and uh, I guess kill Latrek and get the Fap ring. But uh, I don't know if I want to do that yet. I got to kind of decide what I want to do. I've reinforced my S stock a bit for PvP. Uh... I picked up a bunch of different weapons to fuck around with. And that's about it. Um, I got to get my faith up so I can use Astoras because I would like to at some point brave the catacombs and go try to get the Great Scythe. And I might even join uh, the Gravelord Covenant to get the Gravelord Sword. But... I also want to get in on the Forest Hunter Covenant because I think with uh, Dark Souls on PC being kind of old, um, the most active PvP Covenant is probably going to be Forest Hunter. And by the way, as soon as I get some humanity together, I'll start summoning fools. I'm totally down for that. Do I have any uh, humanity candies on me? I got quite a few. So I can pop some humanity and summon people wherever we uh, wind up going. <clears throat> Let me see uh, what I need to level up real quick. Alright, so I need like 3,400 souls to get... I think it, Astora's only requires 14 faith. So I should be able to get that relatively easily. Dazul says, have you made it to the depths yet? No, I don't think so. If 
Fragger says, I keep consuming soul stuff after getting hella into Bloodborne. Yeah, watching Bloodborne streams makes me want to, uh... Actually play Souls games. Hmm. Uh... So I've opened the, the door here. But there's like a mage... There's like a Force Hunter combo in here that continually whips my ass. Uh, but because it's Sunday, we're kind of keeping things more immersive, so I will be kind of like taking my time reading the descriptions of items and shit like that, so. Hopefully you're in for an enjoyable, relaxing experience. Get wrecked, Bushy. Good morning. The sound design in this game is so good. For real. Like, li just listen to all the different layers that make up the illusion that you're, like, in a forest. Like, there's a ridiculous amount to it. Dan says, is that the Drake sword? Dude, every time someone asks, it gets harder and harder not to turn on some Drake songs. Yeah, it's the, it's the Drake sword. Dan said, did that sword start at the bottom? Nah, but it has been running through the berg with its woes. But you know how that shit goes. You know how that shit goes. So I kind of have no idea where I want to head right now. Uh, I have killed the Black Knight down this away. Pretty sure that, uh, makes a loop down there, right? I could go try to kill that crystal lizard again. Hello. Shreep says, go back to Undead Asylum. Uh, how would I go about that? Do I do that from, like, Firelink Shrine? <laughs> I could try to be the real MVP and kill this, uh, Titanite friend in here. Ah, uh, Shreep says the secret when you go up the elevator. Oh, how you can, like, roll? Yeah. Alright, I could, uh, try to do that. That sounds intriguing. I want to whip that little demon's ass, but... I think he might get the best of me. I don't really know his attack patterns or anything. What up, boo? 
I'm gonna just run past them like a uh, true warrior. Excuse me. Ow! No, no, no. No need. Wow. Rude. Rude. I was just trying to go see Andre, and you gotta be starting business. It's all good. Just do a little more landscaping on our way back. Trim the hedges some. It's no big deal. CC says, Fragger is streaming your stream at me on Skype. Holy shit, man. It's like... The meta-ness of that I can barely handle. Oh yeah. Everybody enjoys the purple moss. You smoke purple moss, right? That's how you use it in the game. Blessalier says, good, we're like 10 minutes in and you've died. Dark Souls off to his perfect start. Yeah, I'm really not good at the game. To be real, I'm not skilled at the game. Sometimes I kill people in PvP and that's cool, but that's kind of the limit of anything I can accomplish. Excuse me. Sometimes in the dark root garden, the hedges trim you. But not today. Not today. By the way, is everything uh, looking and sounding okay for y'all with the exception of CC who is watching the stream through a radio transmitter that Fragger set up for her? Is, there, is everything looking pretty good for y'all? Hope so. Alright, I think if I go around to the left, uh, it's a little easier. Fuck up that wall, brother. You show who's the boss. You show that wall. You tell it. I'm out of here, dude. Later. You show that wall. You show it, buddy. Fragger says, it looks pretty rad, and it sounds just as rad, too. Well, I'm glad the radness quotient is uh, all in line there. I'm glad to hear it. All right, uh, I kind of just want to go look at the, the Onion Knight real quick. I've already got all this dialogue, but I just want to look at him. Let's just have a look at him. He's definitely a bro. He's like so adorably chubby. Like, look, look at him. Oh my God. I wish I had like, some kind of delicious treat or something to give him to make him happy. He's look at him. This is the saddest, saddest little onion I've ever seen. Aww, man, the saddest onion.
All right, I reckon I'll try to go to uh, the Undead Asylum. That sounds like it could be cool. Excuse me. It's very rude. You didn't even wait till I got up here, man. You can sit there with your little infinite ammo. I don't like it. Ow. On guardy. Yo, let's find that sweet spot. There it is. There it is. I don't know if this is my imagination, but it seems like the backstab sweet spot is actually just over your enemy's, like, right shoulder. It seems like you kind of want to aim at the seam between their back and their right shoulder, and you get the backstab. I feel like my character looks like a little boy who's in his underwear, like not his underwear, like his pajamas, you know, like his bedtime clothes, but he has this like weird helmet that he's insisted on wearing. He's like, mom, I'm going to wear the helmet to bed. Okay. She's like, that's fine. He's like, yeah, I get to wear it. That's what I feel like my character is. Hey, yo, peace out, sir fry. Uh, I think Surfry might be firing up his stream if you guys want to check that out. I think he will, if I know Surfry, he'll be playing some Arma 3, so. If y'all want to check that out, I'm sure someone can type in Surfry's Linkimus Maximus. Alright. Uh, so this is the elevator on the right that I have to use to get to the asylum, right? I'm pretty sure that's it. And I have to roll off like halfway through or some shit like that. Is that how it goes? Pretty sure. Let's find out. Is it this direction too? Was that it up there? Was it like that, uh, that little flat space before I got down here to this level? I'm gonna ride the Ella later. Whee! Yeah, Bob. Yo, what up, conservative? What up, Gatsby? All right, let's uh, let's see if I have the moves to make this happen. No, <laughs> too too many rollies. I need one less rolly and I'll get it. One less and I'll get it. Hope y'all are having a beautiful uh, Sunday evening here. We're getting... We're getting real here with some slow souls, some immersed souls. We've got Childric. JC says, if you just walk forward against the wall as you go up, you'll just walk onto it. Oh, nice. Let's try that out. Uh, ow. You didn't tell me it would hurt so bad, JC. I gotta drink some of my juice. 
Mom only gave me five juices today. All right, she gave me five only. Making me waste my juice. This guy. <laughs> oh, JC says as you're going up. Yo, that's that's an operating, you know, term. That's not very important. That's like a technical term. So is this where I was supposed to go? What the fuck? How does this relate to the undead asylum? I don't comprehend. Do I need to like walk over this or something? Is it actually down here that I want to go? Do I want to fall into this little hole? You know, I don't know. That seems that seems like a, what I want to do. I think. Uh, you can actually roll across this little gap. That's conservative. And then Shreep says, "Go to the grassy area and jump on the beam." This one right here? Oh, damn. Y'all really think I can jump onto this flying buttress right here? Is this for real? Is this the real Dark Souls right here? Y'all, in truth, as you sit upon the infinite couch, believe that I can roll and make this jump. All right. All right. This is the real Dark Souls right here. Now don't back dash. We don't need that. No! Oh! That didn't do it. That did not work. But it seems possible. I now agree with you. Now I'm going to have to go around. I'm going to have to whip some skeletons ass. It's okay. You can make it happen. Up here, gentlemen. Up here is where we shall do battle. Face me near the giant crow's ass. And your fate will be secure. Now, don't parry me. I don't want the... Uh -oh. Alright, your turn. Come on. Meet me at the crow's ass. Let's go. I don't think I can backstab a skeleton. Yeah, I can. I have... Good night. Alright. Redo. 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 Look at that crow. Oh shit, look at this. Fuzzy says, not sure you can make the jump, but it's the right way. Yo, man, thanks for the confidence. Thank you. What up, GPV? How's it going, bro? Hope you're all having a beautiful evening. Dude. Oh, who's, who's snoozing over here? Is, uh... Latrex sleeping around here? What is what is this? Did the O show chill Latrex out so hard that he's asleep? I don't understand. Fourteen says it helps to be naked and to have your armor off in game. Yo, why do you think I don't have a face cam? I do every O show completely naked. Yo, who is fucking taking a nap down here? Who 
Who is sleeping? Who was that taking a nap? I have no clue. I did have to kill the crestfallen warrior, all right? I did have to kill him. Now, I had to kill him because I was testing the... Uh, like shockwave attack on the drake sword and one of them kind of hit the crestfallen warrior and then we had to come to blows about it so so the crestfallen warrior is no more cc says fragger just added a scare cam to his stream of his shirt well, I'm kind of talking shit because I am planning on adding a face cam to my stream at some point, but uh, I'll have to stop doing the stream completely naked then, so that'll be kind of a bummer. Gatsby says, you'll find Nap Guy later. It's a giant snake teeth guy. Oh, I've totally seen him on streams. I just don't know who it is. He, like, pops up out of that center area. But I, I've never heard him snoring before. Like, in any of my little forays into Dark Souls. Alright, let's try this again. Now, I'm going to do what JC said this time correctly. And, uh, you know, like, walk forward. Look at that. Conservative says, what's the soul level? I think I'm still on 22. Yep, soul level 22. Phyllis says the back seating is real. Nah, there's, there's no back seating on the uh, infinite couch. We're all on the same infinite couch. There is no back seat. All right, take two. Take two. Think I think I can make it happen. Oh, ye of little fucking faith. This that was for fuzzy Russian right there. That was for fuzzy Russian right there. Eh, a second try, whatever. No big deal. <laughs> Ooh, that was close. I did it. I did it, team. But, yeah, the snake guy, Frompt, I think. Is that who it is? Look, you can even see the seam down below of the two doors that open, and he pops his little snake head up. You all see that? Look at the reflection of the crow in the water, man. Shit is fucking beautiful. The immersion in this game is real. And in fact, Sundays on the O Show uh, are all about immersive games. We've been doing a lot of Skyrim and Dark Souls recently. Phyllis says, has he played Demon Souls? I'm right here. You can say me. Um, I've played Demon Souls and Kingsfield. Yeah. Demon Souls and Kingsfield is my mo I played a lot of Armored Core too, but that's not really related. <laughs> that's just another From game. But I have played Demon Souls and uh, Kingsfield, which is an older one on PlayStation. 
I love Demon Souls. I used to play that every day after work on PlayStation 3. Mizuno, yo, thank you for following the channel. You've helped us toward unlocking the next Chivo at 2000. So big ups, thank you very much. Shreeps wants me to get that key. I have to do the will of Shreeps. So. Yay. That seems important. Ooh, look at that. That's all glowy and such. That's very fancy. Yo, here's a minor thing I noticed. Check this out. So you can like equip bolts and arrows at the same time. And they both appear on your character model, but they just like clip the shit out of each. Actually, they don't. Oh, nice. That's a little attention to detail. They don't actually clip each other. That's pretty groovy. But do you see how like the arrows are like stuck through the bolts? I saw a Skyrim mod that changes the uh, arrow and bolt placement so that uh, it, it's the same as Dark Souls. It's down there in your lower back. I'm thinking about adding it to my mod list because that's kind of badass. Don't you guys think that's a cool arrow spot? I think it's pretty groovy. If y'all are just joining us on the Infinite Couch, by the way, welcome, man. It is the O Show. We've not even been live for an hour. Um, I'm doing my first Dark Souls playthrough. No. I'm stuck. Um, as you can see. And I'm having a good time with it, for sure. Uh, I have played some Demon Souls and some King's Field, so I'm familiar with like some of the mechanics, but... I'm not a pro by any means. This is my first playthrough. I hope everybody chilling uh, is having a beautiful Sunday. I'm having a really good one. My birthday was last week. We got Game of Thrones. We got Grand Theft Auto PC tomorrow. Cannot really complain at all. Alright, so after talking all that shit, watch me fuck it up now. Alright. So I got the key. Congrats to that. From it says Drake Sword, get that shit out of here. Yo man, you know how that shit goes. You know how that shit goes. I like the Drake Sword. I'll i I'll probably switch the Storas once I have the faith. What do you think about that? How does that tickle your pickle, Fremen? Huh? Let's give the Drake Sword a nice look. Let's look at it. Ooh, look at the beauty. Look at the beauty. Look at the serpentine design. Fremen says it's just unoriginal. Yo, man, I'll have you know in high school, my senior superlative was most original, okay? So I don't want to... I don't want to hear your bananas, okay? I don't need to hear your bananas. So, whoa, is that crow that brought me from the asylum going to take me uh, back? Yo, is that what's about to happen? That's fucking cool. Ah, 
you can curl up like a little egg. Oh my god. Best game ever. Already. Best game ever. Fremen says you'll want to get rid of it by the time you're out of Blight Town. Just saying. Um. Actually. I'm going to do a dexterity and faith build using the Great Scythe and maybe like the s Dock or the Chaos Blade. Um, so yeah, I'll probably switch from the Drake Sword later on, but uh, for now it's probably the best DPS I have, um, so I'll probably be using it. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Yeah, what of? I'm just going to say 40. That's easier. 40. Do I co-op with stream viewers? Yeah, dude, all the time. That's like my favorite shit about Twitch is playing with viewers. So we'll be definitely doing some jolly co-op. Look at me. I'm an egg. <sighs> Conservative says, why not the Balder Swag Sword? Man, I like that great scythe a lot. And going like uh, Dex and Faith gives you a lot of options. You can cast a lot of cool miracles. Oh, I'm a little egg. Now the little boy uh, imagery is even more thorough. I look like a tiny little boy wearing his pajamas and like a, a helmet running around. I'm back, motherfuckers! Alright, now I'm pretty sure I can give a... Uh... Alright, so this is a teleport to and from the asylum. Cool. And I think there's a little baby crow over here I can give some shit to, right? I have some rubbish on me, I believe. Where the baby? Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm just here to visit the crows. There's no reason to get all aggressive. Excuse me. Easy, buddy. You're gonna hurt yourself. Alright. Anyway, I think there's a little baby crow that I can give things to. Fucking hollows ruining everything. So do I just drop items in here and then come back later? Is that how it works? Do I just actually drop the item in game? Why can't I curl up like a ball here? I've got a... Got a little bit of rubbish. I think that's the only item I have on me that'll do anything, right? I think so. Yeah. There's some rubbish. Enjoy. Now see, the trick with my first playthrough is I have watched a lot of streams, right? So uh, I'm pretty sure it would be a bad idea to run in here where the boss used to live. But I think there's more boss action. However, 
If I remember correctly, there's a bonfire over here to the right. Is that it? I think so. Yeah, because it's on the left when you run in from that side. So I think I'm just going to try to go get this bonfire over here, you know? I think that's going to be the move. Yeah, you know? Keep it nice and, and mellow. Hello? Anyone here? Okay. Look at that cutie up there. Oh, look at this guy. Hey, buddy. How's it going, buddy? Did you want to... You want to throw down at all? I think he does. Seems like he does. Right. I think you have the advantage here in the hallway, my sir. Uh, kinda you do. Ooh, he got one in. Ow. Don't do that, that hurt. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Alright, I think what I want to do is try to maybe pull him down into that room on the left. So I can get some backstabbery going. I think that might be the move. They're very partial to backstabs. Fragger says the Black Knight just wants to be your friend. He very enthusiastically wants to be my friend. That's the problem. He's like, you know, like a dog that's like way too overzealous. He's like that. He's like, let's play. And I'm like, no, you'll hurt me. All right, come into the battle chamber. Come into the battle chamber, Black Knight, please. Oh, uh-oh. I didn't know there was a third in there. Oop. <laughs> oh, man. Tabatum says, conquer that black knight through the power of friendship and love. Well, we're in here together, you know, trying to... Trying to do our thing a little bit. I brought him into my love chamber. He didn't like it. Maybe, maybe I'm like cursed because I'm using kind of a scrubby weapon. Oh, it's so much better damage than everything I have. The uh, all right, let's just try to get the backstabs. Hello, do you want to play? Da, 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 da. All right, you can come in my room. Don't hurt me, though. I really need them backstabs. Ugh. That third strike. Uh. Man. NXB says, Hail Halberd. I was thinking about Halberd, yeah. I was thinking about it. Well, this is the Dark Souls Die to this Black Knight over and over hour. I hope you guys are enjoying. Oh, shit. Boo discovered the subtext. Boo says, The Black Knight is the overbearing father figure to the Pajama Boy Knight. That's what it is. I'm like, Daddy... Let's play. And then he comes in here and totally owns me. 
That's what it is. Stairjo says, time to learn how to parry. Yeah, let's do it. Let's let's become a champion. <laughs> I don't think I can parry that one. Too late. Let's learn it. Let's learn to parry right now. Oh, the wiener stab. You hate to see it. You do hate to see it. Oh, it's too late. Okay. Yo, I got one parry off. That wasn't too bad. The parry and repost might be doable. The parry and repost might be doable. Is parry my, my new backstab? Is that what it is? Right, you gotta be quite early, it seems, to get the parry. Ooh. <laughs> oh man. Gotta find a comfortable place to have my controller. My hands are like going numb. The Black Knight is casting enchantments through the game. Oh. Ah! No. No, no. No means no, Black Knight. No means no. Alright, I tell you what, we have been live for about an hour, and no joke, my hands are like pins and needles numb right now. So I think I am going to take a break to work the blood back into my hands and that type of thing. I do have pretty bad arthritis, so I got to take like more breaks than your average bear. So we'll take a break here at the hour so I can uh, take care of my hands. Old man Davo. So I'm gonna go stretch my hands and stuff. Get the blood flow back in there. Dotto Delgado says get good. Ca casual. Yeah, that's me. That's me. I it is I'm a baby. How could I get good? I'm literally crawling over to the computer to even be able to stream. You guys should be hyped that I'm uh, even a baby. All right, y'all, it is the O Show. Uh, I got to take a break here to stretch out my hands and get the blood back into them. Hope you guys are having a lovely Sunday evening. Um, I'm going to be chilling here, working on my very first Dark Souls playthrough. For the rest of the evening till about 3 in the morning Pacific, maybe a little later. As always, I definitely appreciate y'all chilling on the infinite couch. Appreciate the follows so far tonight. We are working on unlocking Chivo number 2 at 2,000 follows. When I take a break, I try to encourage y'all to take a break too. It's like very unhealthy to sit for extreme periods of time. You really do want to try to at least once every hour or so get up move around get the blood flowing i personally try to do a little cardio make the blood pump whatever you do take care of yourself i'll be back with you guys soon we'll chill with some more dark souls
Yo, what is good? Thank you for your patience during the break. I'm old, so I got to take breaks to stretch out my hands and stuff like that. Uh, but it's actually good for you to take breaks, too. So I hope you actually did, like, stretch out a little bit, get your blood flowing a little, drink some water, do something good for yourself. It is the O Show. You're going to keep chilling here, playing some Dark Souls. Baby's first playthrough. Played some Demon Souls and King's Field in the past, but I'm pretty new to Dark Souls. I don't really care about quote unquote backseat gaming because we are all sitting on the same infinite, infinitely comfortable couch. But what a like badass week, dude. We've got Game of Thrones. Grand Theft Auto 5 coming out tomorrow. I'll be streaming that as soon as humanly possible. I'm actually going to try to play online GTA 5 on the first day of release. It's going to work perfectly. Despite what you all say, it's going to be it's going to be perfect. So I'm ready for it to be perfect. Let me uh, try to fix up my mic here. Wait, did Gatsby post some kind of fucked up link while a rooster tooth dude was there? <laughs> Do what? What is the link? Is it something bad? Uh oh. Gatsby out here stirring up drama on the infinite couch. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. Alright, let's go get my ass kicked by daddy. Uh... Daddy Dark Knight. Daddy Black Knight. Daddy Black Knight. Look at Gatsby back paddle. Dude, he blew a whistle, Dave. No, dude, this was way beyond me. I I don't even know. I didn't even click the link. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> I just think internet drama is hilarious. Do you want to share with the rest of the class, or should it rest? Okay. Okay. Nah, I did it too early that time. Fuck. Oh, I'm dead. This Black Knight is going to be like my parry boot camp. I'm going to sit here until I get good. That's what I'm going to do. This Black Knight is actually my personal parry trainer. Personal parry trainer in a He always starts with that he comes with the backslash Yeah, okay, okay. I'm starting to get the parry timing. I'm starting to understand All right that I just took in the face as with that Can I get the time for an Estes in here? He's gonna be mad about it, but I think he let me do it and the slash back, okay. Come on, do something. Oh, it's too late! God damn it. He's wary now because I parried him one time. Nope. He's wary now. He knows I, I have the parry potential in my heart. And possibly in my spirit. Uh-oh, he's mad. We're slowed down because of the water. It's pretty cool. No! <laughs> Alright. Officially got one parry off. Very good.
Sterjo says, I guess we're going to be here all night then. Hell yeah. I think this is a good room to spend the rest of the evening in, don't you guys? Ah, that was way too late. Come on. Okay. That was way too late again. Ah. At least he backed off a little so I could drink some Estus. Oh, he's mad now. Backslash? Okay. Ah! I wonder, are some of his attacks non-parryable or should everything be parryable? That's what I wonder. Is, is all things equally parried in the eyes of the law? Ow. Fuck's sake. <laughs> Black Knight, give me the parry power, sir. Teach me to parry, Black Knight, please. I gotta learn. Yo, ask and ye shall receive, bro. That was late. I was late to. Ah, I'm dead. <laughs> Yo, what up, Katarina? The only things that can be parried are two handed ultra great swords. Word. Good to know. I am but a Dark Souls baby. So these things are a great mystery to me. Ah. So I would have needed to parry that one as I saw him reach back with the sword it looks like. I think. No hop around. No need for all that. <laughs> I'm trying to like creep on them for the backstab. I'm dead. Ah, I was trying to bury it. I truly was. Stake says, because the bonfire is a little old place where we can get together. I could summon somebody, but I really, like, want to not be this bad at pairing, you know? I'm, like, I'm trying to, like, train myself like a Shaolin monk. I want to not be awful at pairing, you feel me? It seems like an important skill to have. And each parry you get off on a black knight, you get rewarded with a dick stab. I mean, how cool is that? Oh, I'm dead.
sorry, I was trying to get more comfortable so I can maybe... My hands, like, are... I don't know how to describe it. They're, it's like I'm not getting enough blood to my hands, but... They're, like, down low, so I don't know what's up. Maybe I gotta, like, put them at, like... I don't know. I'll try like this. <laughs> my hands keep getting mad at me. What's the optimal ergonomic way to... Like, where are you supposed to keep your hands when you're holding a controller? Is it supposed to be, like, level with your heart or, like, in your lap or what? What's the ergonomic hand way for a troller? Quickly, Google team assemble. Google team, what is the ergonomic way to hold this controller? Ah, oh, damn. I got the parry, but not the repost, I guess. <clears throat> All right, that was way too early, I guess. It seems like you have to parry when you're about to get hit. It's like, so that if you fail the parry, you get hit. That's, it seems that way. Dead. Mazo says a round heart height. All right, I'll try that. Try that. <clears throat> when you're old like me, you gotta like worry about ergonomic shit. Otherwise, if you try to sit and play video games for hours at a time, you're literally gonna like hurt yourself. <laughs> Ah. How does I parry? <laughs> Bomber says, what controller are you using? Uh, Xbox uh, 360 controller? I guess I should mention I'm playing with my feet. Uh, I am playing with my feet. Does that make a difference? I'm actually using my feet to control the game. I'm fucking stubborn as hell though. Like I'm gonna get good at parrying if it takes me all night. I will literally sit here and try to learn parrying off this guy. All night, if I have to. This will be Perry Boot Camp all night. He helped me out with that one. He telegraphed that shit a little bit for me. A goddamn bear says most professional Dark Souls speedrunners actually use their feet. I that's yeah, that's where I got the idea um, to use my feet. Are you guys serious? You all you guys chilling on the infinite couch don't play Dark Souls with your feet? I can't believe that. I really can't believe that you don't play with your feet. It's like way more optimal. 
As you can see, though, it makes it tough to parry. I'm practicing my foot parries right now so I can learn. I'm, like, caught in the limbo between deciding if I'm parrying too early or if I'm parrying too late. It's a hellish place to be. Ow, that was my face. You might think I'm joking, but I will I'm content to sit here and, and face this dark or this black knight all night. By God, I will be the parry master at the end of this. I will be the Lord of Parries. Just see what. Wait a second. How did I unequip my weapon? I just parried him and punched him in the dick. Alright, that's swag points. That's swag points. I literally didn't realize I'd somehow unequip my weapon. And I parried him and punched him in the dick. That's definite swag. I don't care if you kill me, I just punched you in the balls. I don't care if you kill me, Black Knight. I just barehanded you in the nuts. I have all the swag points now. You may you may kill me, but my swag will live on. Sabatum so says punching black knights in the dick. Exactly. I call them Dark Knights too, I don't know why. They're Black Knights, but I call them Dark Knights. I think it's because they look kind of like Batman. Don't you all think the Black Knight kind of looks like the Dark Knight? For fuck's sake. Bomber says, I never bothered to learn parries because the animation is different for each enemy. Man, I I hate being this bad at anything. So like, I at least have to put in some time to try to learn how to parry. I at least have to use this guy as a little parry boot camp. Give me my zero souls back. I have to learn to trust in the parry. See, I felt like that should have got it. So I need to go a tad early to what seems right. I'm just happy I punched him in the nuts. I'm like, that's, that's got the whole stream for me. Punch a black knight in the nuts. Call it a day. Alright, so, hmm. one part I don't understand is I guess sometimes if you parry an attack, you're not allowed to have the repost, or do you just have to get the right timing? That's one thing I'm a little confused about, because I like parried his first swing, but then like I was locked in the parrying animation and he just nailed me with the second one. So that part I'm a little confused about how to deal. Did I just figure it out? Guys, I think I learned how to parry. Yeah. The pajama knight. He learns it. Alright. I think I get it now. I think I get it. 
Dab says, I don't think you can parry the shield stab. Yeah, I don't think you can actually. But I honestly have no idea. And before there's another one at the top of the stairs! No. There's not. Yo, can we get a F to pay respects to my parry trainer? Can we do that? Can we get a F spam in the chat to pay respects to my parry trainer? He taught me really well. I got three in a row there in the end. Thank you, Black Knight. Thank you. I have a little Sunny D. Delicious. Uh oh. Are you not my friend anymore? No! I thought we were homies! Bro, I thought we were friends. Oh, he's not he's not gonna let the backstab happen. Or will he? Or will he? Please. Please. Dan says he hollowed. He fucking did hollow. Yo, man. He was once a homie. He told us about Estes flasks. Definitely needs an F to pay respects to that guy. He taught us about Estes, dude. That was our Estes tutor. He taught us the ways of Estes. He introduced us to Sunny D for the first time. Fremen says F for Oscar. Exactly. F for Oscar, please. Fourteen says from the lore standpoint, Oscar was hollowed since the first time you met him. Yeah, that's what I thought. Going hollow doesn't mean you're necessarily evil. I mean, I'm hollow. And he was like laying there all hollow. I think he just changed his mind. He was like, you know what? Fuck this guy. I think that's what it was. He was like, you know what? Never mind. Never mind. Oh, you have another one? You little bastard. You little bastard. You're gonna pay for that. You're paying for that. Little bastard. You little bastard. Look, I'm gonna get this out of here. You know what I mean? Just go. Get out. Disgusting filth. Yo, what up, PA? How's it going, man? You're in for some jolly co-op? Yeah, man. I'll definitely be doing some jolly co-op at some point. Oh, shit. I like Fremen's lore explanation. He says, once he gave you the Estus Flask and told you the legend... He felt like he had passed the quest on to you, so his purpose was fulfilled and hollowed. I like that. He was like, you know what? My work is done here. I can be a bastard now. Yemen. Who first? Don't kill your buddy. Not very nice.
Ah, you got me. Now I get to look cool with the arrows sticking out of me. What's up, ladies? Aw, oh, it's gone. <laughs> Oh, two now, huh? Two. Alright, I mean one. One. Spearman. Nobody likes a spear, bro. Does this open? Ah! Shreeps. Shreeps, what would I do without you? What would I do without you? Oh, so that's how you can grab that item. Fuck yeah, dude. Let's take a look. Rusted iron ring. This iron ring was used to shackle the guilty. It is terribly rusted and faintly stained with blood. Those who find this strange ring to their liking will be pleased to find it easier to gain footing on poor ground such as swamps. So does this uh, prevent me from slowing down in water? Shit like that? Because that's way more useful than the uh, blue tear stone ring. In before this is cursed and I can't take it off. Nah, we're good. <laughs> Alright, so I reckon that actually, uh, okay, yeah, PA Master says, that ring lets you walk normally in water. Excellent. Excellent. And then, uh, Fremen said, have you visited your old cell yet? No, nah, but that's a good idea. Um, it's a good, it's a good move. I think if I go down here, there's going to be a boss fight, you know, again. So maybe I should go around. And I also think the next uh, convenient bonfire I can... Go ahead and... Level up my faith enough to use a store as straight sword as well. I think this is the right way to my old cell. Gatsby says you might want to sit at the fire. Yeah, there's a bonfire in here, right? Yeah. I want to enjoy my new ring for a second. Look who's not slowed down by the water. It is me. Hooray! Debatum says he forgot about the shortcut, didn't he? Yeah, I think I did. I think I did forget about it. Uh, but while I'm here, I think I have enough soul candies on me to put a level into faith real quick. So, uh... Let me eat some soul candies real quick. Yep, that'll do it. Yeah, let's get that faith up. Bada bing. 
And I think 14 is the limit on Astoras, right? So, to uh, maybe alleviate some of the saltiness about using the Drake Sword, I'll actually switch over here to uh, Astoras. It's going to be less damage, but it adds some faith damage. Has some cool attack patterns, so I'm, I'm feeling it. I really like that it has that thrusting attack for uh, these like cramped hallways. So. Alright, so I should be able to like... I, hmm. I don't think I could go through here without activating that boss. So I think I'm gonna try to play it safe and try to take the shortcut. <laughs> Carcina Jean says Astoras is a great sword. Yeah, it's definitely one of my favorites. I pretty much pick it up every playthrough. I always get the master key. Now I've played through up to Bell Gargoyles like one time before and one time before that I played up I think even to less. I think I played only to the Titanite, um, or not Titanite, the uh, Taurus Demon, but every time I picked up Astoras. This playthrough is going to be all the way to the end though. I like started Dark Souls a couple times and then went so long between games that I like forgot how to play it. So never again. I'll never abandon you again, Dark Souls. All right, so then to get to my cell, it's like this way, right? Maybe I should rest there real quick. I'm gonna rest there. You can't trust this video game. You cannot trust Dark Souls. Yo, there's a thing in there. Yo, is I bet if I go in the center of the room up there, I fall down into here, don't I? Yeah, I bet that's what happens. Another one. Hello. 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 Your friend taught me how to parry, I think. Oh, a little. He taught me a little. Ow. He taught me only a little. Alright, I think this is the true parry teacher here. But I thought that other Black Knight was the parry teacher, but this, this Black Knight is the real one. This Black Knight's the real deal. He's gonna teach me how to parry. The true Perry King. Excuse me, I'm here for parrying lessons. Look, you can only see his feet in the mist down at the end of the hallway. What a fucking cinematic little fight. Hello. I'm here to duel you, my friend. Come into the light. Let us battle. 
Uh, it's too early. Okay. Can't really see him. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Ah, oh, I failed again. Nah. I don't know how to. I don't know how to parry. I thought I did, but I don't. Thought I did, but I don't. Fortunately, this Black Knight is here to teach me the true ways of parrying. Oh, he got me in the face. <laughs> How am I alive? Holy fuck. I'm getting cheap. I'm like, just give me a backstab so I can drink an Estes, please. Oh god damn it, he got me with the shield. I, I thought he was going for the sword, but he went shield. Too early, too fucking early. You gotta like almost get hit, I think. You gotta like be like, okay, it's gotta be a close thing. Ooh. But then I was late on that one. Fuck! Pairing, I'm going on record saying pairing is bull. It's a lie, it's made up, it's a myth. Pairing is a, uh... Pairing is a government uh, propaganda campaign. There's not actually pairing in this game, it's just an illusion. And sometimes you are, you know, the game presents the illusion that you're pairing, but you're not really. There's actually no such thing as parrying. Give me the zero souls, please. Thank you. I needed those. Now I can win because I have the zero souls. Now I can win. Uh. The Black Knight has a really big ally in this fight too. He brought camera angles with him. He brought the camera angles with him. Well, I, I didn't know that Perry Boot Camp tonight had like a follow-up lesson, but it does. It does. I forget who said it earlier, but it does seem that every attack has an individual parry window. And they're kind of, I don't know. There doesn't seem to be a whole lot of logic to them. You just have to memorize them. So I got to stop thinking logically and just look for pattern repetition. Like it doesn't really have anything to do with trying to connect the shield with the attack. It's just memorizing what the character looks like when you need to push the button. So I gotta focus on that instead of trying to like, you know, think of it like realism. I'm like sitting there trying to line up my shield with the sword and I really just need to memorize, okay, that 
When he looks like that, when he's in that frame of animation, he's parryable. The slow crawl down the ladder will get it there. That's actually, I had to unlock the parries by going down the ladder slow. Like, I know that one. I know that how he looks for that one. So whenever he does that attack, I can, like, reliably get it. But if he does other attacks, I can't. Fortunately, I lucked out he did that one three times in a row, so I got it. And that one, all right, so that one's got a long wind-up. So he needs to have his armpit, like, open for that attack to work. Got it. But he's got the open armpit, he's parryable. Oop, that's still too... Alright, so he's got to be real far back with that blade. He's got to, like, almost be about to swing it down. And I can't parry that. Okay. Okay. Alright. That forward thrust is pretty easy, too. You can, you can parry the forward thrust almost at any time. There we go. There we go. So at least for the Black Knights, it seems to get that last attack parried. He's got to like, he's got to have his elbow bent. He's got to be like poking his elbow out to the side. And if you go then, you got it. Conservative says you should stick with the Drake Sword until you upgrade that weapon. I'm going to use it for a little while. Why not? Why not? I'm trying to see if there's anybody leaning over the edge up there. I don't think there is, is there? Peculiar doll. Do what now? What? What does it go under? Is it like a weapon? <laughs> Where'd a peculiar doll at? Did I go past it? Am I completely like insane now? No, nah, here it is. It's under the keys. Okay. A strange doll in strange dress. There once was an abomination who had no place in this world. She clutched this doll tightly and evidently was drawn into a cold and lonely painted world. Ah, I think I actually know what that is for from seeing it in the stream. I think that's for going into the painted world, right? That's pretty cool. Fuzzy said it would be a cool talisman. Yeah, I was thinking like you could hold it in your hand, but it's just under the keys. Shreep says you can do some Mario 64 shit with that doll. That's exactly what I actually thought. I thought about diving into the paintings in uh, Mario 64. Alright, is that pretty much everything I can pick up in the asylum? Is it time to try to fight the boss now? Thanks for the zero souls. Bomber says you can meet Bowser. Yeah, is it time to go meet Bowser now?
Sergio says, don't fight the boss, seriously. Shreep says, you might not be able to kill the boss here. Sergio says, you will die so much. Yo, I, I literally, I have to now. I have to, I have to now. I think I have to. Like, if you're telling me it's that bad, I literally have to. Is it gonna fuck anything up for me if I, like, try it out first? And then die and come back later? As long as there's no penalty for failure, I'll try it. Shreep says fire resist shield. Yeah, I got one of them, I think. I actually think I have the badass fire resist shield, right? The dragon crest doesn't it have... No, it doesn't actually. It doesn't really have fire resist at all. Or does it? Yeah, it does. 85%. My bad. I was looking at the wrong category. Uh, Alright, so I think that's my best fire resist is the dragon crest shield. Carcina Jean says the boss does magic not fire. Okay. Uh, what's the... Well, that's got 80% magic resist on it, so I'll use that. Um, I want to see the swag, though. How's the swag looking with that? Pretty good. I look even more like the pajama knight. I like it. But yeah, I'm down to, like, try the boss. I, I at least want to see what he looks like. I don't care if he owns me. <laughs> you can own me, boss. I want to look upon your visage. Own away, sir boss. I do love the slashing attacks the Drake Sword has when you're in open spaces like this. Alright, let's, let's do it. Hey, what's up? Uh... Immediate death. <laughs> Let me see him though. Oh my god, this guy looks amazing. Oh my god, I gotta look at him a little more. Alright, I'm not gonna like bash my head against his boss, but I gotta at least... He looks so badass. I have to look at him. Oh, sorry, I forgot about you. I forgot about you too. Yeah. Sabatum says, nice roll. It was pretty good. I was trying to roll directly into the uh, pole and get killed. So it was like flawless execution. JC says, if you want a good view, you can just go down to your cell and look into the boss arena from the hallway. No, I was trying. There's like all those bars in the way. I got Look, I got to get the National Geographic view of it. You know what I mean? I gotta get like the the true view. Ah no, not again. 